are sometimes able to pick where there's an individual item that looks uh, looks a little odd. So, so the, the chances are that people will actually be um, be picked out uh, and 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 pulled up through our process for actually doing this. The chances are that people might have been picked up through the process, but nonetheless, people are getting through. It's revealed by the journalist in the Herald this morning that one course, for example, was hit. 18 times and another nine times uh, from students at the University of Newcastle. So they've been clearly, before this website was pulled down, mind you, they've been clearly able to target uh, and identify, you know, the strong, you know, strong activity by students at the University of Newcastle. But as I pointed out, these, are, these might be a single class and a single assessment item, and each course that we have generally has three or four uh, assessment items. So. In actual fact, the likelihood of, of, uh, of somebody being able to use this to, to complete uh, an entire course uh, is quite small. And, and, it, and, and we pick people up who are actually misbehaving around this by the, by the type and nature of the, uh, uh, of the assessments and, and what we're able to track the differences in, uh, in, in the, uh, the styles that are used. Um, OK, so you're saying, I'll, Professor I'll, Puffer, I'll, that you can I'll, identify I'll, the cheats? Oh, we, we can. Um, we can identify people who use it uh, in a number of instances. I, I can't guarantee that we can identify individual cases all the time, but we can identify across the course of, uh, an in, of, a, of a full course uh, somebody who would be systematically doing this sort of thing. You can identify somebody who's doing it systematically. Interesting, but yet you've said that nobody's uh, been, uh, you know, turfed out of their degree, uh, having been, for example, doing this systematically. They would be doing it once or twice, uh, and by the time you get to the second uh, offence for academic misconduct, it often means that uh, you fail the entire course rather than just get a fail for the assignment. As you, if something else happens, and again, we're getting much, much smaller numbers of students at this point because they, uh, the lessons are being learned. Uh, by the time you get to the next point, uh, uh, you're potentially suspended for uh, a semester, which is a pretty serious consequence on progress through the course. Um, and after that, uh, uh, as I said, a, a relatively few of the people who continue to do it um, then end up uh, uh, with an expulsion from the program.